I'm going over to Joey's to do my homework, and his mom will probably ask me to stay for dinner. Okay, that's fine, Jack. Hello. Hello, Doctor. Come in. If I may. Oh, of course. Please Thank do. You. Mike? Uh, Dad, I'm going. I, uh, hope Ginny's home. I have to speak with her. Well, she should be back very shortly. Would you like to wait? I think I'd better. If she's just at the hospital, I'll give a call and see if she's left. Oh, where's Mike running off to in such a hurry? Joey's. You have a visitor. Oh, hello, Brett. How are you? I hope you are. The bearer of good news. Thank you. Let me, um, make sure you drink. Uh, Ginny, uh, and As a matter of fact, I'll even join you. What do you say? Uh, I'm afraid we'd have nothing to drink, too. Oh. The news I bring is not good. I... I have no idea. I just got here. I came straight over from the courthouse. I see. From what the judge tells me, the district attorney's been putting... putting a lot of pressure on him to deal with this issue of further charges. Isn't that called, um, influencing the judge? No, no. It was a valid question. DA's just making sure the court addresses it. And the court did. You'll now have to answer to the charge of obstruction of justice. I see. And, uh, when do I make this, uh, return engagement? The date will be set shortly. Bless the Morrisons. Oh, especially Mrs. Morrison for falling in love with the place. Especially Mr. Morrison for paying for it. Jake, did I really get a decent price? Did I advise you to take it? Yes, you did. You got a decent price, believe me. <laughs> believe me, you will have enough to get into Elm Street and bucks to spare. Oh, it feels good. Coming back to my street after all these years, it feels right. Yeah, me too, Bobby. I tell you, the first time I saw that building and I walked down Elm Street, I just knew that was for me. I'm glad we stopped by the Morrisons after, after we went over to the hospital. Well, I figured you, uh, didn't need any more suspense for one day after Tony. I think you're right. Well, I know my client. Ah, you mean your partner. Partner, that's right, partner. And your neighbor. And my neighbor, <laughs> who will take off our shoes at night. What? I, anything I can't stand is somebody clomping up over my head. <laughs> You're giving me trouble already. Yes, I am. I mean, after all, you are the landlord. You know what I do with landlords? Mm. I hit them over the head <laughs> with plans from the building. Ah, Terry left a note. Oh, wow. What? Terry says the DA called to say that Jenny is going to be charged with obstruction of justice. What do you think? Well, I expected it. How do you feel about it? How do I feel? Good. I'm glad they're going after her. Maybe it'll be over once and for all. All right. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Where are you going? See Tony. Well, Rick, if it's any uh, help at all, there was no change when I was at the hospital. None at all. Thanks for your so, medical update. Oh, I just... Jenny, I am the doctor. Rick, I realize Fine, that. I would like to see my Rick, patient... wait a minute, please. Why? What is wrong? Why are you so upset? Let's not argue. No fights, okay? Uh, Rick, come on. What did, I, what, is it, what did I say? I don't believe you. You're going to stand there. The man comes in and says you are going to be brought up on obstruction of justice charges. i got to hear that. I look at your face and I think of Bobby and what you did to her. Rick, can... Can we please talk about this? If I say any more, I will be sorry that I said it. Still here? One more suitcase.
that it? Yes. My grandmother's coming to see me. I called her. I don't have to tell you how she feels about Tony and Tanya. How about her feelings for you? What? How does she feel about you now? I'm trying to help Frisco. I've been with Robert Scorpio all day. We're doing whatever we can to find out who did this. Well, in a way, we already know who's responsible, don't we? Frisco? What? I have to live with this the rest of my life. Why not? If what you are 